Newcastle United, a club that deserves more, but often receives less. Once competing amongst the elite, both locally and also abroad. Local legends have come and gone. And for the past 11 years, this massive club has been put through a huge amount of turmoil through the ownership of this man, Mike Ashley. Under his ownership, this club has been relegated twice and have now lost their Champions League winning manager, Rafa Benitez. Now under new management, but under the same regime, can this traditional club return to competing with the big boys? Can they challenge Europe or is it another era of misery? Welcome to Football Manager 2019 and this is Reclaiming the Tomb. Playtime. Hello folks, welcome back to yet another episode of my Football Match 2019 game save, also called Reclaiming the Tomb with Newcastle United. Now, this is like the fifth attempt at recording this episode, so please bear with me. We're a lot further on than where we should be, so let's try and bring you up to speed. So we originally wanted to come back around about here, the Man United Brighton game, but as you can see, I've, I've actually ploughed further forward than that. Um, but let's bring you up to speed. I'm not going to show you the goals because there was too many. Um, so in the last episode, it was Fulham and then Arsenal, then we took on Utrecht. And we won 2-1 in the Europa Cup, Group F, before beating Aston Villa at St. James's Park 3-0. Then we took on Leicester at their gaff, Filbert Street, or whatever it's called. Lost 2-0 uh, before drawing with Lazio. Now, that's going to prove to be very, very beneficial, very important um, in the grand scheme of things. Then we took on Watford at uh, Vicarage Road, 1-1-0. Then we took on Huddersfield, and we won 2-0. Then we lost two last-minute or reasonably late goals in the game against Hoffenheim. And that, my friends, has put us out of Europe. Uh, just losing the one match. So that's very on, on flipping goal difference or something. Absolutely very disappointed with that result. Anyway, then we took on Burnley at uh, Turdmoor and we won 2-1. And then back into some more cup action up against uh, Chelsea in the Carabao Cup. And we lost 2-1. Oh, my goodness. So couple of uh, bad results in the space of a week to eliminate us from two competitions. Then we took on Tottenham at their place and we drew 1-1. And then we took on Liverpool at Anfield in an eight-goal thriller. In a game which we took the lead twice, but we lost 5-3. Yep, 5-3. But then since then, we've taken on Manchester United at St. James' Park and we drew 2-2. Two -two. Um, then Brighton and we drew 0-0. And then right here, right now, hot off the press, we've just taken on Millwall. And we've won 2-1 in the FA Cup. With a much rotated squad, squad with some youngsters. So in this episode, we are going to be taking on Bournemouth and Everton. Yes, folks, it is a little later in the day than I hoped it would be. Uh, we were gonna, we were gonna come back for this Man United, and then Brighton, and then fast forward to Man City Arsenal. So we're gonna do this now, and then we'll fast forward to Man City Arsenal in the next episode. Anyway, let's plow on, see what we got. So here we are, folks, with the first game of the video up against Bournemouth at St James's Park. Now Newcastle are in third spot. We kind of dropped off the pace a little bit, but we do have a game in hand on at least Chelsea. Uh, they are five points clear of us, so we wouldn't make too much headway. Bournemouth, though, bottom of the league, so we should. Bank home a winner here, boys and girls. If we don't, I will be very pissed off. So my starting line for this match in a bit of a weird formation. We've got Dubravka, Clark, Jansen, Smalling, Sessignon, Johnson, Kachawasic, Shelby, Foden, Prato and Grealish. With no strikers up top. What are we doing here, boys and girls? Well, let's wait and see, shall we? So a quick look at the team for Bournemouth. They have not Diego Forlan, but Diego Faras up front. Um, Junior Stanislas on the bench. Nothing interesting. Oh, goodness. I've got to change the old setup here as we go into the 2D classic mode. Now, a win for us is paramount if we want to surprise the world and climb up to the second spot. But here come Bournemouth. Big talent in there. It's coming actually back out to Bournemouth with Pew. Aki now. Jansen breaks up Smalling. Thinking about it. Grealish comes back deep. Preto to... Foden, Session with a cross. Ah, Prato's header is wide. Are we the third best team in the league? I don't think so, but we had the great start to the season. We've we've been holding our own up against some of the big boys, Tottenham, Man United. Obviously, we got thumped by Liverpool, but you know we could, we could. This could be a season for Champions League football. Edging closer to the 45, it's kind of petering out to be a bit of a drab one, I'm afraid. Nothing to get too crazy about. And there it is. What a boring half that was. 
decided to change it completely now, going with uh, with some three strikers up top now. Kind of mixed it up a bit. Uh, Grealish has been pushed into some spot. It's not in the right spot. We've got to figure that out. That's got to sort itself out. Back to back to business there, boys and girls. Krasowicic with the big fat goal from the corner. Let's take a look at that in the old 3D. Grealish with the effort. Pings it in there. No one was on him. Just stops the ball, turns and taps it in there. Looks like a bit of a cheeky back heel. I don't care. I'll take it. Johnson. Krasowicic. Sessignon. Picks out Grealish. The cross is made and is headed over the top. Last 15 or so minutes. Another corner. Mutu this time strikes it. It's only his second goal of the season. Obviously, he's competing with a lot of other bodies up there now. And even though we are playing some games without a striker, Mutu's just showing you how it's done. 2-0 now. That should be all three points for the tune. As we now look to try and cement our place in Europe once again. Now, don't forget, folks, this is a beta save. It will come to a conclusion pretty soon, in the next day or so. Um... I cannot can control two destinies, if you know what I mean. I've got to, I've got to um, control one of these. I tried to do that last time with Hibbs and Schalke, and it was just too mind-bogglingly all over the place. So, oh, it's one and done for me, and it will be Blackburn Rovers because I've never done one before, and that is my boys. Uh, but having said that, if you are still keen beans and you will support me on Twitch, come watch it. I'll stream some of the old Newcastle as and when it comes around. I don't have a schedule yet for any Twitch activity, but it's something I'm looking to do um, definitely into the new year. But anyway, 2-0 on top, Newcastle win it. Wow, 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 look at that score. 3-3 between Everton and Man City. That's the opponents we're taking on next, and that's also the people that I'm worried about the most. Man City kind of stumbled there. We can now open up a five-point lead on them should we beat Everton in our next game. So here we are, folks, with the second game of this video. Our Newcastle are still in third spot, up against Everton, who are in seventh. Now, we've played three times in all competitions prior to this one. We've won one, we've drawn one, and we've lost one. So hopefully we can get another win, and hopefully we can close that gap onto second spot, boys and girls, because I'm not done and dusted just yet. We still have this bad boy to try and compete with. So once again, I'm going to stick with this uh, formation with no strikers. Dubravka, Clark, Janssen, Smalling, Sessignon, Johnson, Kuchelwicz, Shelby, Foden, Prato. And Grealish. Quick look at the uh, Everton team. I uh, know we'll stand out for me. Just the same old, same old. Okay, here we go, boys and girls. Kicking us off from left to right at St. James's Park. Here comes Everton. Bernard makes a run. Sassignon breaks it up. Jansen now to Smalling to Grealish. Sassignon nearly picks up Clark's back there to defend. Shelby. Johnson. Cross. Sassignon nearly smashes it home. But it goes wide. Everton also playing today. Digny. Bernard. Up to Coleman now. Whips across in. Grealish breaks up Prato now. Grealish. Sassignon. Boom. That's his first goal for the club, boys and girls. First goal in the black and white for Newcastle. Johnson here. Picks a pearl of a cross. Sassignon runs onto it. Dinks it in the, between the gap between Pickford and the post. And that, my friends, is closing the gap to just two points on Chelsea. Corner. Bumbled in there. Dubravka with the save. Looking for options. Clark. Sessignon. Pings it over to Johnson this time. Nearly a repeat of their first goal. But it goes out for a corner. And then that one actually ends up with another corner. Grealish this time. Prato with the effort. Pickford with the save. Another corner. Pinged in there. Prato collects for the tune. Krasowicic. Shelby. Clark. Back to Dubravka, Jansen, Luna's getting all excited. Johnson, Sessignon, nearly with a daily double there, boys and girls. He misses it. Corner there this time for Everton. Bernard. Digny. Kushaus just trying to break it up. He does. Sets up Foden on his way. Loose ball. Sandro bumbled. A lot of opportunities, but they're just no one's capitalising on them at the moment. Another free kick. It's bundled in there by Session with his second goal of the day. Second goal for the two. And Luna is going bonkers. Free kick there by Shelby. Just goes wide. 
Looks to me that we got this game under control at the moment. Still a whole 45 of football to be played. As Man United have been held by West Ham. 2-2-0 two, two, at the break. Second half, Everton getting us underway. Man United have pinged themselves in front, would you believe it? Corner. Clark's effort heads over the bar. Session with a 9.2 today. Best best out a uh, best appearance for him in the tune. For the tune, should I say. Johnson, Shelby, Kushawashich. Tries to pick out Sessignon, but no. Here comes Everton, Schneiderlin. Johnson's back to defend. Gives it away. Sandro has a little effort, but the Bravka's on it today, boys and girls. Look at this. Standouts by Newcastle. Just the forward three have been a bit below parts. All coming from Johnson and Sessignon today. We've got an injury, though. We might have to change something. Just making some changes here that will be going to effect pretty soon as Sandro's effort goes over the top. So the man of the match... Uh, Sessignon is off. Atu in this place. He's not really a uh, a left back or wing back. And we've uh, given him a little bit of hope now. Bolison has made it 2-1. Minutes to spare. They do call me the Tinker Man. And that would have that would have really, really pissed me off. Man United comfortably in control at West Ham over West Ham. Um, Everton trying to give me a little bit of sweat, but no, boys and girls, we come out on top 2-1 winners. Well, that, my friends, keeps us into third spot, so we're still in the mix as the season is drawing to a close. Still a lot of football to be played, but in the next episode, we are going to plough forward to the month of uh, February. We're going to go and see the Manchester City game at their place, and then Arsenal at St. James's Park. We'll also have the closure of the transfer window, so I might make some new signings before then and now. Hopefully, you'll have enjoyed this video. If you did, make a good thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the old subscribe. If you're bang up to date with all things Football Manager 2019 related, boys and girls, Blackburn Rovers related, whoa, football related. We've got it all here under one roof. So until I see you again, which if you're watching this and you're enjoying it, it will be tomorrow. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, Football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.